Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa Ulul Amru Minkum and always a reminder from myself, An Abdul Ajeez al Da'if, Miskeen al Zalim al Jahan and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah gave us this life and this faith and this immense blessing for the taruq and tariqahs, the path into the heart of the realities of the heavenly kingdom. Alhamdulillah that this is the holy month of Kawthar, the holy month of realities that all pilgrimaging, all movement is to the Kawthar oceans and the location of that Kawthar ocean is in the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad It's also made from Nur Muhammad Everything is from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah that reality of the Kawthar, the dress and the blessings of the Kawthar means that in the pinnacle of Hajj was Arafah and the secret of Arafah was Sayyidina Ibrahim sacrificing for the sake of Allah his only child Sayyidina Ismail The pinnacle of that reality was Sayyidina Ismail One is sacrificing their property, their goods, that which they love, sacrificing for the sake of Allah and alhamdulillah the Muhammadan light which is the representation of Sayyidina Ismail That's why the cousins and other people they want to say it was Isaq, the other son of Sayyidina Ibrahim because they don't want to give credit to the Nur Muhammadi and the immense blessings that Sayyidina Ismail represents that represents they sacrifice themselves, not they only struggle with giving zakah, then they give what Allah wanted from them of charity, then they give this, they give that. But the Muhammadan haqqaiq that comes and Sayyidina Ismail the father of that reality carrying the Muhammadan light within his wujud and that shows to Sayyidina Ibrahim this bloodline that I carry and this light of Sayyidina Muhammad that flowing through my loins, through my being, through my wujud, we are the ones whom we sacrifice ourselves. And that was the reality that Sayyidina Ismail was, was of a higher reality to show that I'm sacrificing myself for Allah that you are sacrificing property but I'm sacrificing myself for Allah and that that is the secret of the Kawthar ocean that, Inna tainaka al Kawthar, didn't we give you the fountain of abundance then pray unto your Lord and sacrifice, one har. And these are the masters of that reality showing that they pray unto Allah they understand the lordship of Allah the heavenly kingdom of Allah and their life of taslim and submission that he submitted to the will of his mother, he submitted to the will of his father which represents the, the Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum and he submitted to the will of Allah as a result for Salli Rabbik that he prayed unto his Lord and he accepted his Lord's will for him and lived a life of sacrifice. So the immensity of that Kawthari oceans and the reality of the Kawthar and the fountains of abundance as a result of that character that is the abundance that flows on Zul Hajj. That is the abundance of why they say Hajj is Arafah and the secrets of Arafah is in that reality. So that fountain of abundance that's flowing, these oceans of realities that are flowing. Then what happens as a result of this is that now that this Kawthar reality is, is, is showing itself into dunya, we're about to in the next eight days, nine days enter into the holy month of Muharram. 
And this gives us a time in which to prepare and to realize in our life that our life is about self-sacrifice. It's about sacrificing ourself, our bad characters, our bad desires, all of these badness and it's continuous. There's nobody walking on water, it's a continuous process that Ya Rabbi we want to be from the Kawthar realities, we want to drink from the Kawthar, wash and bathe from the realities of the Kawthar. So that's so much so that the Kawthar is flowing through the hearts of those whom are dressed from it and absorbed within it. As they prepare for the month of Muharram, the month of you no know, haram, the month of leaving badness, entering to goodness, the month in which we step with our right foot on the tajallis of Muharram and the app has the awrad for accepting the month of Muharram, welcoming the month of Muharram, how to wash and bathe in preparation for Muharram and the holy month of Muharram that Ya Rabbi accept this beginning again of our hijrah towards Your Divinely Presence, the movement towards Your Divinely Presence to be dressed by its blessings, to wash for it, to prepare for it, step with our right foot. Because every goodness we move, we move with our right foot into that reality and then the immense blessings of the example of Imam and Hussain And that again is the representation of that whole secret of this path, that we are far following lordly souls, we are following souls that have immense realities, immense realities in Divinely Presence and Imam Hussain comes as an example for us as that exact reality that pray unto your Lord and live a life of sacrifice. And he shows that the sacrifice that the family of Sayyidina Muhammad that they lead by example, they lead by living a life of sacrifice, living a life of service and that becomes the immensities of Ashura and the events of Ashura and the secrets of Ashura that come that I'm going to teach a, a life of sacrifice. We sacrifice the badness, we sacrifice our time, we sacrifice all of these things for the sake of this love for Allah for the sake of the love for Sayyidina Muhammad for the sake of the love of pious people that Allah enjoin with us to be from amongst them this life of sacrifice. And so we're asking to be prepared for the month of Muharram, to be dressed from its realities, from the love of Ahlul Bayt, the love of the holy companions as they were all martyred and let an example of the immensity of the love for the Divinely Presence and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that this life has no ease, that this this life of difficulty from within the nation, not from outside the nation. And that's the that's the 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 secret of the path. That your enemy is not outside, your your opponent is not outside. It's the inside opponent that creates all the problems. It's the hasad and jealousy within brotherhood that create problems and the sickness that they have that led them to kill the companions, to kill the family, to kill everyone that was holy. These were not by outside forces, these were by Muslim forces, these were by people in, in the surrounding. And that is the example of the turuqs and why Allah holds to such a high esteem the tariqahs because teach the way of love, teach the way of good character. Instead of fighting one another in the ways of haqqaiq, they should be fighting shaitan. Instead of having jealousy and hasad and you know with this one, they give two words and then they talk bad about this shaykh, they give two words and talk bad about this shaykh. Why are they worrying about these things? Talk about uh, how to come against shaitan and how to bring somebody to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's the immensity of these realities. That Muharram lays for us the foundation that we're going in and we're following the great souls that they pray unto their Lord continuous and their life example is sacrifice. And we pray that Allah dress us from its blessings, their blessings, the immensity of their stations and by virtue of their great sacrifice Allah lessen the difficulties in our life. We don't ask and don't want those types of difficulty. But by virtue of loving them, recognizing 
what they've done and how they've sacrificed, Ya Rabbi make our path to be easier. Take away difficulty from us, take away this extreme hardship from us, take away the, the, the hasad and the bad eyes of people Ya Rabbi and safeguard us against their bad desires and, and bad wishings and wantings upon ourselves, our family and our communities. This way is an immense way of muhabbat and love. It's 12 months of moving towards love and most important door of love is this Muharram. If we can't open our heart to feel the compassion that we spent 12 months talking about the immensity and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad imagine with all that love to hear that his holy family was slaughtered, that his beloved grandchildren were butchered. These are these are times in which the heart has to feel a love and that love has to shed a tear. If the heart is not capable of having a tear to, to feel a compassion, the heart is dead. And we pray that Allah revive the dead hearts that not to, to only live a life of entertaining and, and funniness and smiliness and happiness but a heart in which has a sincerity and a compassion in which it's, it sheds a tear for the immensity of the sacrifice of the holy companions and Ahlul Bayt and that the sacrifice of all those whom are struggling in the way of Allah By virtue of those tears Mawlana Shaykh said, you could extinguish the fire of Jahannam and everyone has a fire of Jahannam chasing them. This tears and compassion, this way of love is enough to extinguish that. That by thinking all oh, your fasting is going to save you from Allah's punishment, all oh, your praying is going to save you from Allah's punishment, all oh, your giving is going to save us from Allah's punishment. And awliyaullah coming teaching the, the best safeguard from Allah's anger is the tears of our eyes. Because it's a sign of a heart that has love and ishq and softness, khushya, softness to it. Allah is then looking to us a heart that has that softness and that, that emotion and that love and that tearing, how I'm going to punish them? Whatever they did wrong I'm sure they're repentful and, and sorry for what they've done wrong. So the turuqs come to teach the essence of this reality is this immense love and ishq. We pray that Allah soften our hearts and, and give it ability to shed tears often, to cry when we're doing our zikr, our salawats, our prayers, to feel ourselves in the presence of Prophet and to feel how we're, we're not reaching to where we have to reach, to have that level of compassion and that is a sign the heart is alive. A heart that can't cry then is a, is a heart we have to focus on to make it cry, even cut some onions and put the plate of onion in front of you if you have to. When you're making du'a cut onion and put it in a plate and sit next to you making du'a with onion burning your eyes so that at least you're crying or give the appearance of crying. They said if you fake it sometimes you can make it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> either way it's, it stresses the importance of ishq and love and good character. For without good character what, what, what's left of, of this path? We have now shaykhs calling other people kufar which never, never we saw even Mawlana shaykh mention things like that. That the shaykhs are the safeguards of the nation. The nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is a nation that accepted Islam and the nation that didn't accept Islam because they're all under Muhammadan light. Rabbil mu'mineen wa rabbil kafireen. The concept of only Allah was not for the pious. The pious they don't need you, they're already with Allah It's for those whom are struggling, those whom are doing bad, those whom have yet not accepted the deen and accepted the way, only Allah are for them, dispatched onto them, guide them, clean them, wash them because they're all Muhammadan lights. We don't want these lights to come negative into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad so when, when shaykhs start calling people kufar then something's wrong with tariqah and the concept and understandings are all lost. 
We're not a people to judge people, we're here to save people, to, to bring people towards guidance, love and muhabbat and all those whom are in need. That's why we said the door of Surah Fatiha that dresses the shuyukh is not the top door but is the last verse of Surah Fatiha. يَكْنَ أَوْنِ يَكْنَ إِسْتَيْنِ إِتَنَا سِرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ سِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرُ الْمَغْلُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الدَّالِينَ That's the door and the bab of all awliyaullah that the shaykhs you are in Siratul Mustaqeem, Allah asking then if you're Siratul Mustaqeem and you're in the dress of Sayyidina Muhammad go after all those whom they're angering me and whom have gone astray and bring them up through these gates of Surat Al-Fatiha into the presence of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. We pray that Allah keep our path to be good, to be loving, to be kind and to be always around and surrounded by the people of muhabbat and ishq and Divine Love and safeguard our faith, safeguard our way, safeguard our families and our practices. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon, salaam ala mursaleen, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.